Hi everybody, Michael Snyder here, Seattle Weather Guy. Just thought I'd go over the big changes coming up on into next week real quick here. Uh, but before that, we're gonna get some nice weather. Obviously today, a beautiful day out there. looks like we're gonna be up around 70 degrees at SeaTac. Tomorrow's gonna be even a little warmer and Saturday warmer still, mid upper 70s possible, maybe even an 80 degree reading in Western Washington. So you can see the ridge here and that's gonna give us, of course, today, Friday, and Saturday, some nice warm temperatures. We might even get a half day or even maybe a little more on Sunday, um, up around 70 degrees possible on Sunday before that first frontal system impacts us and really cools us down Monday on into Tuesday. So let's look what's going on here. This is Friday afternoon. You can see the thermal trough setting up. Everybody knows now that a thermal trough means nice warm weather for, uh, the Seattle area. And as we go on into Saturday, you can see that thermal trough is still enough on the west side of the Cascades where it's going to give us another pretty, relatively very warm day for late September. And as we go on into Sunday, you can see the pressure falls offshore there, and that's going to bring our first strong front Sunday. Looks like there might be even some lightning potential for the coast during the evening there. And you can see by late Sunday night, you can see that deep low off shore here. And we're getting one or two decent fronts off of this big low pressure out here. And you can see that kind of comes on shore there, but our rain chances will continue. The atmosphere is gonna be unstable. There's some pretty good convective available potential energy throughout the sound on Monday and Tuesday. So some thunderstorm potential, we're gonna watch that as it gets closer, of course, look like there might be a better chance with Puget Sound convergence zone yesterday on some of the model runs, but that looks like it might be on the way out. So we're just gonna have to see how this plays out right now. Stay tuned on Twitter and I'll keep you updated. So on into next week here, you can see this is actually, let's back up here a little bit. We'll go, this is Sunday evening. You can see some uh, pretty good signal for some lightning there, some with that strong front that's impacting the coast on Sunday evening. As you go into Monday here, here's Monday afternoon, you can see the Puget Sound still has some pretty good convective available potential energy or otherwise known as Cape. And going on into Tuesday, you can see the afternoon, still some potential around. So those two days might be fun to watch if you like thunderstorms and we get a couple of lightning strikes out of all that. And you can see here on the ensemble members here, you can see a pretty good signal for a couple good rainfall events Monday, or starting Sunday night actually into Monday night and then starting very late Wednesday night on into Thursday. So it looks like we might be in line to get, you know, three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch of rain in some of the Western Washington areas. And some of these ensemble members have over an inch of rain. So fall will return with a vengeance next week, uh, much cooler also. It looks like Monday is gonna be about 20 degrees colder than Saturday. So great news for weather lovers in Pacific Northwest, thunderstorms, um, lots of rain. It doesn't look like much signal for any kind of windstorm or anything this time around, but we're always watching out for that. So stay tuned on Twitter. And if you guys like these videos, click like and make sure to subscribe. And if anything looks really interesting, I'll do another video before each individual event. And otherwise stay tuned on Twitter. Talk to you guys later.